What does having a positive self-concept have to do with manifestation? Stick around, let's talk about that, shall we? Marna, thank you for joining me. So today we're talking about why it is important that you have an overall positive self-concept if you're attempting to manifest, well, anything in your life. Basically what it boils down to is 95% of your brain processes are done on the subconscious level. So what your subconscious believes will affect the outcome of your manifestation no matter what. What you need to do to combat this is control your subconscious beliefs. The first step in doing that is having a positive self-concept. One of the major blockages that so many people have when they are manifesting is on some level, they believe they don't deserve what it is that they are trying to manifest. They believe that if they deserved it, it would already be in their life, they wouldn't have to manifest it at all. These are beliefs that are instilled in us in childhood when we are told, you know, by our parents, no, you can't have whatever the toy at the grocery store is. These are old, old, old beliefs that are in our earliest programming that we have to consciously go in and change for our manifestations to be able to appear in our 3D reality. So how do you do this? Good question. The first thing you have to do is you have to be aware that that subconscious program is derailing your manifestation. You have to be ready to make the conscious decision of, yes, I am going to change how I view myself. And for many of us, making that decision alone is incredibly difficult. I mean, who am I to want to change the world, right? Who am I to want anything? Especially if you have been dealing with a lifelong habit of depression or anxiety disguised as depression, this is a monumental challenge. And it's okay to acknowledge that. But acknowledging it is the first step to changing it. So, once you have acknowledged that you have a subconscious belief in your own worthiness that is blocking you from having your manifestation, then you need to start rooting out where that belief comes from. And again, this is not an easy process. This takes a lot of emotional heavy lifting. So if you wanna run, this is the time to do it. But if you want to have the ability to manifest the life you deserve, this is the price you pay. You do the work to get the results. Now, one thing I do recommend is if you are, um, if you are doing this work, get yourself a journal. Just something plain and simple. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be dated. Just something that you can write in. Because the written word is a way for our conscious mind to link to our subconscious mind. So what you do is you open up your journal and at the top of the page, you write a question. And this is a very simple question. You write the question, why do I believe I do not deserve whatever it is you're trying to manifest? And then start writing the answer. Don't think about it. Don't put any effort into it. Just start writing. I do not deserve this because. And what you will find is that the words will start to flow and the words will come from deep inside of you and you're not even going to know where they're coming from. Keep writing. This should not be a simple answer. This answer may take pages and pages and pages in your journal and that's okay. This is why I said use a paper journal, not a computer, by the way. The computer uh, does not allow you to access the subconscious mind as efficiently as handwriting on paper does. So, write. Write out your answer, write out where it comes from, and then explore deeper. As you see the answers forming in front of you, ask 
deeper questions. Where does this belief come from? What event started this belief system? You will uncover things that you had completely forgotten in your conscious mind. For me, <coughs> excuse me, one of my big uh, issues is abandonment issues. And it was through a journaling exercise that I realized that the source of that abandonment issue came from an event that happened when I was four years old, when I was left at a cousin's birthday party and I looked up and saw my father driving away. It's a simple little event, nothing big, nothing dramatic, but that simple little event convinced me that everyone I loved would eventually leave me. And that programming was implanted at four. And it took me until I was almost 50 before I managed to find it and face it. You see, that's the next step. Once you find this belief that is poisoning your manifestation, then you have to face it. You have to look that monster square in the eye. And again, this is an intimidating thing. This is a belief that you have had for the majority of your life without even realizing it. The funny thing is, you're not fighting it. You look that belief in the eye and you say, at one time this may have been true. At one time I created this belief to save myself from the pain of experiencing whatever the triggering event was again. At one time, this belief existed to protect me. Then you honor that belief. You acknowledge that belief. You speak to yourself about how that belief has served you, but you have grown past it. And whenever that belief tries to fight it back and rear its ugly little head again, I have grown past the need of this belief. I no longer need to believe this. I am now capable of facing this situation in a different manner. I have grown past this belief. Now the secret to reprogramming your subconscious in general is repetition. If you repeat something with meaning, with feeling, with belief, at least, at least 10 times a day for 30 days, that belief will take root in yourself, in your subconscious. Once that belief takes root, flourish. Make that belief grow. Remind yourself, I've grown past needing to believe that I was not worthy of whatever. I have grown past feeling that I need to live in lack. I have grown past feeling that abundance is not my birthright. I have grown past feeling like someone else had to provide for me. All of these are things that I now manifest in my life. I will bring my own abundance to me. I will bring my own love to me. I will bring my own wealth to me because I deserve this. I am a whole and complete person and this is my birthright for being the person that I am. Once you break through the subconscious barriers and once that becomes your subconscious belief system, it's all over then. Your manifestations will come to you so quickly your head will spin. So that is why self-concept and seeing yourself as deserving is so very, very important in manifestation. I'm Marna, and I will see you in the next video.